hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for your take the privacy is the most important thing in the everyone's life in case of smartphone it is the most important thing because we are sharing the lots of information regularly on your smartphone in the way of notification to hide the notification on the lock screen we generally use the hide sensitive content option but because of that we can't able to see any notification on the lock screen so to read that notification you have to unlock your phone every time but now there is a perfect solution available in the way of the apk that is called as the face notify this application uses the face unlock method to read the notification without breaking your privacy so before going forward please subscribe our channel and press bell icon so let's get started for the review of the face notify Remember that you must need the root access to use this application. Download the application from the link given into our video description. Install it as a normal APK, then open it. It will take some one minute to half minute of time to start that application. Then it will show you the instruction how to make it work. I will show you how to make it work later. Then you have to click on the OK button. After clicking on the OK button, first it will not give the root access. You have to go manually into the Magix Manager. There you have to go under the Super User and enable the Face Notify as a root access manually. After that, you have to open the application. This time it will also doesn't give the root access. You have to restart that application. Now it will give the root access. You can see here the root has been granted for the application. Then you have to click on the start service button when you click on that you will see that the service status is enabled on the top uh, you will see here the service is now enabled then you have to go to the settings under the settings you have to go to the lock screen and the security under the lock screen and security uh, you have to go to the lock screen preferences and there you have to enable the show the content for the all the notifications after the enabling the uh, notification content then you have to go again go to the back under the same option then you have to go to the face unlock option under the face unlock option you have to disable the auto unlock once the screen is on disable this option then go to the back and now we have to go to the battery settings under the battery setting you have to search for the face notify application and then uh, disable the optimization battery optimization for the face notify application you have to just select the don't optimize and then click on the done button don't worry the battery consumption for this application is negligible you don't have to worry about that now we'll test that whether this application is working perfectly or not now i will lock my phone you will see that the, all the notification content is now hided but when I move my phone toward face, we get unlocks and it shows the all the notification in the expanded mode. So it's very convenient. It gives the privacy. No one will see the notification content than you. You the only one can see the notification content. Under the setting, you will see that there are two options, general and the face recognition. Under the general it will show that the supported devices is the OnePlus 6 and the 60 is also supported. But this application should work on any device which is having the face unlock method. Under the face recognition you can set the notification content uh, timing so that it will show the notification content after the 1 second or 10 second as per your wish. You can add the notification type also. You can enable the application on the boot also. After starting the application, there will be the persistent notification under the status bar. To disable that, you have to just long press the face notify uh, notification under the status bar and then click on the minimize button. This application is at the early stage of development so that it will show you some bugs. The first one is that some people are saying that the showing the device is not supported. For that, you have to uninstall and install the application again. The second one is that after the some time, the application is not working. For that you have to re-enable the service. Once it, this application gets stable version, it will be the more awesome. So that's it guys. Like this video, subscribe our channel, press bell icon. Thanks.